zombie apocalypse? So when did it start? About a week ago? Say that again. About a week ago. This zombie apocalypse starts with some scientists doing stuff he really shouldn't be doing. Now I'm just going to mix the uh, measles with a meatloaf and feed it to Mr. Fluffy Bottoms. Now ain't you girls from Mr. Fluffy Bottoms? <laughs> now this scientist has the option to put him into quarantine. But should the scientist really put this sweet gorilla into quarantine? No, let's just teach this stupid little animal some trigonometry instead. I'm sure it'll work out. Come on, Mr. Fluff Bottoms, I believe in your potential. Obviously, this fancy scientist is then bitten by his specimen. Unfortunately, as the rules of zombie apocalypses go, he ignores his symptoms for as long as possible. My eyes are bleeding and I have an urge to eat my children. I must need some Tylenol. Soon, when things start getting serious, this doctor then goes to the hospital. But where to the hospital we go? Whee! In the hospital, a zombie is born. This clearly clever doctor gets within make-out range of this patient or zombie and just starts analysing him. No point keeping him restrained or anything. Now if you're a good boy, I'll give you a lollipop at the end of it. Evidently, the doctor gets mauled. This Zombified doctor then runs about the hospital infecting everyone else inside. Now this zombie apocalypse starts to spread across the entire world, and instead of standing at the foot of your door with a shotgun pointed to the outside, everyone goes outside to check on their loved ones. This is the wrong thing to do. Barbara, I still love you, and nothing is more powerful than love. After I met you, my life was changed forever. <laughs> The right thing to do. I always hated date night. The humans then flock to a supposed safe zone where they feel they're safe and huddle inside when it turns out they'd left a massive scent for the zombies to follow. They then follow the humans to this safe zone and use their pyrotechnical skills to breach the safe zone. Unfortunately, Fortunately for the humans, they get turned into human hamburger meat. Remaining survivors look for a place to hide. Unfortunately, they do an extremely bad job at it. <laughs> you can get tied in there. It has a ball pit. 
And then from that point on, they all start arguing about who gets to be mayor of all gonna Dieville anyway. I'm in charge here. No, I'm in charge here. You're too fat to run, you plonker. And just to end this final video with a good ending, the zombies get past their rubbish barricade and eat them.
Dog goes woof, cat goes meow, bird goes tweet, and mouse goes squeak. Cow goes moo, frog goes croak, and the elephant goes toot. Dog say quack, and fish go blub, and the seal goes ow, ow, ow. But there's one sound that no one knows. What does the hook say? Ding, ding, ding. Big blue eyes, pointy nose, chasing mice and digging holes. Tiny paws up the hill. Suddenly you're standing still Your fur is red, so beautiful Like an angel in disguise But if you meet a friendly horse Will you communicate by more oars? More oars? More oars? How will you speak to that
H1Z1. A terrible infection took over the world within weeks and turned everything that we know upside down in a blink of an eye. Crime ratings went up. People and families cannibalizing each other. People breaking in shops to survive. Huh. It's funny. Because I think I'm infected too. And it all started with a bite. Fine, where's Jake? He's in this room. Alright. He's right here. Hi Jake, how are you doing today? Not so well. I can see that. So, how's the improvement from last time? <coughs> I don't think anything much happened. I think this is getting a bit too serious. Let me see. Snapchat. Yo, I'm sorry to say you have H101 virus. Is that bad? Yeah, and certainly there's no cure for this. I'm sorry about this, man. Well, what do you think I'm supposed to do? I cannot tell you anything. Just wait and have faith in God that he will fix you. Fix your virus. Have faith in God. You will be fine. Thanks for nothing. Jake, are you okay? You've been in there for like three days. Alright, I'm coming in. Jake, <sighs> have you been sleeping for like three days? You really need to let some light in here. Jeez. <sighs> That's better. Nuggets! He's not picking up! Uh, Jake, they're not picking up. I get... What do we do now? I guess we'll just have to wait for him to call back. Okay. I'm gonna schedule an appointment with you. For tomorrow. You're gonna have to stay like this the whole night. <sighs> Sorry. I love you! Hey! Hi! How's your brother doing? He's not answering my phone calls. I don't know, he hasn't been out of his room for like three days. Are you serious? Do you have any idea what's wrong with him? No. Can you please tell him I called? <sighs> yeah, I will. Thank you. Bye. Bye, see ya. Hi Jake. Hey. I'm glad to see you're feeling okay. You didn't reply my messages or answer my calls and I thought something really bad happened to you. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Did you hear that? Hear what? 